everybody, it's Dan. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about your spreadsheet. Um, one of the biggest differences that I see people making, people who are making money, is they've got a spreadsheet that just dictates how much money they've actually got. So let me give you an example. So let's say I'm feeling really good today and I think, you know what, I'm going to go spend five grand on Facebook ads. So I go spend five grand on Facebook ads and uh, then I, I check my bank account tomorrow and I realise I only had two grand in the account and now I'm three grand down. And I'm like, oh no, that's going to make me feel really bad, right? And so I'm basing my decisions based on how I feel and then the consequences will then determine how I feel, which is really not a good way of doing it. If we're talking about mental health and making sure you're feeling good, that's not a great way of doing it. It's also not a great way of running a business because you haven't got a clue what's going on. A better way of doing it is to work out, okay, so I've got two grand in my account, I want to run Facebook ads, let's run a grand. If I make some money off those Facebook ads, I can then spend that new money on Facebook ads too. But if there's also an incident that happens that I need to spend a thousand pounds on, I've still got that money left available as well. So I'm not putting myself into trouble, but I'm still able to do the Facebook ads and drive some traffic, but it's based around actual facts. And this is what I see doing. I, I say to people, so when are you going to be financially free? I'm going, oh, I don't know, five years or something like that. And I'm like, what do you mean, or something like that? It should be four years, seven months and four days. Because I'm paying this off on this month, I'm paying the car off next month, I'm paying the credit card off in July 2022. Whatever that happens to be, that's what it should be, right? It should be based on fact. Most people are not doing it based on fact. They're doing it based on how they feel. And it's ridiculous. They have these plans, but the, the reason the plans never work, they might do goal setting and planning, but because it's not tied into a financial reality of what the spreadsheet is saying, they don't make it. They go, well, I should have enough in five years. What do you mean should? You either have enough in five years or I don't. And I get that people say, look, you know, my income, I don't know what it's going to be in four years. I get that, but you should have an idea. And it's not for your income, de uh, your income to determine how much money you've got in five years. It's for you to determine how much your income should be in five years. And if if you say, well, I'm on five grand a month in five years, and you're only on two grand a month, then you need to do something about it. There's no point in getting to five years' time and waking up and going, oh, look, I'm only on two grand, because then it's too late to do something about it. So you've got to start putting your spreadsheet with all your data, all of your income, all of your outgoings, all that data has to go onto that spreadsheet so that you can make decisions based on actual data, not guessing. Guessing isn't going to get you anywhere and it doesn't get you anywhere. Richard Branson doesn't wake up one day, he's in trouble at the moment, is Richard Branson. Uh, <laughs> he was talking about money that doesn't make you happy. One of the richest people on the planet, money doesn't make you happy. Okay, he's saying good health does. And he's just sued the NHS for a couple of billion as well. Um, just not in a good books. But Branson doesn't wake up one day and go, oh, I know what I'm going to do. He looks at what the numbers are telling him he can do or he can't do. That's just the way it works. And it should be the way it works in your life. You shouldn't be basing what you do based around how you feel. It should be based around facts. And the facts should then tell you how you're going to feel. And if you're in negative two grand every month, then you should feel crap. Right, because you're negative two grand. Instead of waking up and then going, oh, I'm going to go buy those shoes, and then you look at the next day and you're like, oh, I'm just in even worse debt. Like, it's not going to help you buying those shoes. Get out of debt. And people call it um, um, shopping therapy. Um, I can't remember the word, but they call it like therapy. For sh it's shopping is therapy uh, because we're in debt. It's like it's just it just doesn't make any sense at all. So you've got to start putting uh, it all onto a spreadsheet so then you actually know what's going on. Alright, hope that's useful for you. My name's Dan Latte. We'll catch up with you in the next video. Take care.